So in this video I want to explain what you should not write in your limitations section. I have a, a different video in which I talk about limitations section and I reflected on this topic a little bit, but still because it's such a difficult section to, to write and because I keep seeing the same mistakes being made over and over again, I decided to record this this video separately so that uh, it's easier for you so you can uh, prior to writing that section you can already know what to avoid so that you don't waste your time writing about something that you're not really supposed to write about. So the thing number one uh, that I think you should avoid uh, writing about are time limitations and uh, ironically at the same time it's, it seems to be one of the most common uh, problems or obstacles mentioned in limitation sections. Uh, now I understand, especially if you're a student, I understand how overwhelmed you may be, I understand that you have plenty of things on your mind, I understand that you have probably lots of deadlines and assignments at the same time, it's not your fault, it's, it's probably, you know, the, uh, it's, it's somebody else's fault, somebody who planned the curriculum, but, and I understand that some uh, supervisors may not be that good at supervising, unfortunately, so they may take ages to respond to your emails, so how could you know all of this when you are planning your study? I totally, totally get this. And I, I totally, 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 get this, and I understand that. But the sad reality is that when you submit your your work, uh, nobody really seems to care about about the problems that I mentioned. And, uh, and what it seems to them instead is that if you are complaining about the lack of time, uh, clearly your, your time management, your timekeeping skills are not that good. So the logic here is that you should have planned carefully, you should have thought about possible obstacles, you should have uh, chosen your methods, your sample realistically. So it doesn't matter if, if you're doing a short assignment that takes three weeks or you're doing a master's and it takes uh, one year or you're doing a PhD, it doesn't matter. What matters is that you should have planned your study, selected your sample, uh, selected your methods realistically so that later on you cannot complain about time limitations. Again, as I said, this is not uh, exactly my opinion, it's just what I know, uh, how I know uh, talking about time limitations uh, comes across as. So, so that's usually an argument against you. So, so that's why it's important not, uh, not to talk about these limitations. It's just not a good idea to, to describe these as, as limitations to your study because you're just asking for trouble, so to speak. So you're inviting people to criticize you for your poor time uh, management skills. The second thing that I see a lot in limitation sections is explaining. Ex explaining and justifying and making excuses. Again, it sounds harsh, uh, it's not how I, how I see it, but I know how this comes across. So basically, uh, in that other video that I mentioned, I talked about uh, the problem of talking about limitations. We, we don't like to talk about our limitations generally, and in life we're not used to this. We're, you know, we would rather talk about our strengths, uh, if you if you're looking for a job, you're talking about your strengths again, not your limitations, your weaknesses, and generally that's how we want to come across. We usually try to present our you know our positive side. So, so by nature, it's not really we're not really used to talk about limitations. So what happens when we are supposed to talk about limitations quite often is that we talk about these limitations, but then we explain how they were really not that much of a problem. And this this what happens a lot uh, when I look at at students work so so basically what they do is they say let's say there was this limitation but actually it was not a problem or actually I managed and this was not considered a limitation uh, or there was this limitation but because I I did this eventually it was not such a big limitation so so basically they they keep they I can tell they're not comfortable talking about their limitations and and they feel like they to each limitation they have to provide a solution and explain how it was really not that much of a problem. Uh, and again, it's not really what's expected from you. So don't worry about talking about your limitations. As I said in that other video, your uh, the person who's uh, marking your assignment, uh, they are more experienced than you and trust me, they know about your study, uh, your studies limitations. So 
Uh, so it's not like you have to worry about them discovering something, you know, a weakness of your study. Uh, the main point of this section is to show that you can be critical about your work, to show uh, that uh, that you understand how it could could be improved, to show that you understand it's not the best study in the world and it, it is limited. And finally, this kind of leads me to the final point. It's, it's a little bit similar. Uh, so basically, don't never ever <laughs> don't you don't you dare saying there were no limitations. Again, I've seen this uh, quite often surprisingly and people probably for the same reasons that i just discussed they they are reluctant to talk about their limitations and they say uh, something like to my knowledge there were no limitations uh, to this study or there were no limitations related to methodology not a good idea just uh, just like i said in the, the previous video on this topic you should be happy that you're expected to talk about limitations because it's also a chance for you to showcase all the additional reading and knowledge that you have and maybe you didn't utilize in, in the in the chapters and in, in your dissertation so basically to to, uh, to show their, your understanding of additional methods to talk about the limitations for example of methods and and uh, even if you don't really feel that uh, it was a limitation it's always good to say for example a limitation was a relatively small number of methods and i could have used something else and then you can talk about these methods that you read about so so it's a good chance for you to highlight to showcase your knowledge uh, and generally, uh, just like I, I just said, the person marking will understand the study's limitations. So if you say there were no limitations, trust me, they will find limitations and it will not uh, come across very well if you're saying that there were no limitations to your study. And at the same time, it's kind of related. People tend to uh, inflate uh, the importance of their study and just talk about how, how great, how good, how useful it was, how it was the first study to address something, how it can be used by, you know, all kinds of people and organizations. And at the same time, there were no limitations. So it just doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. And trust me, your study, I'm sure it's good, but uh, trust me, especially if you are uh, doing a, a master's study, for example, there are always things to improve. I remember doing my own master's and I felt like it's the best study in the world and everybody will uh, will email me and will keep calling me about publications and using that study somewhere else and ex extending that study and all kinds of things. But now when I look back on it, I still think it was a nice study. I still think uh, it was a nice idea, but it was a very limited study, which is understandable at that point. So. So you just need to understand that you're still training, you're undergoing an extensive training and research, uh, and you have every right to make mistakes and your study is not perfect. Again, I'm not saying that to uh, discourage you. I just want you to understand that there are limitations. So never say there were no limitations at all. So that's all. I hope that you learned something new from this video. If you did, please like the video. Do not hesitate to contact me either in the comments or through my website if you require more assistance. And uh, good luck with your limitations section.